our purpose in life. Only God has the real answer to this question. But for some reason, he doesn't paint the picture across the sky revealing the plan for which he created us. He uses people and experiences to nurture and guide each of us down a unique, customized path. Some learn their purpose early in life, while others spend a lifetime questioning their identity. Only through, only through seeking God's will and cooperating with Him, we can discover life's purpose and find a reason for our birth. And we never know what impact our lives truly can have. For Perhaps the next president of a nation or a doctor who will save a child's life needs a kind word today, not from someone else, from, but from us. If we have believed lies, our, lies about our purpose or that we don't have one, we can have faith in God to, his, to fulfill his purpose in our lives. Our purpose may totally surprise us. We can we can trust and be a blessing right where we are. Go where he sends us. Speak and touch the person he leads us to. He trains and guides us through life for his purpose. We can follow his direction today for he created us for great and wonderful things. I have not achieved it, but I focus on this one thing. Forgetting the past and looking forward to what lies ahead, I press on to reach the end of the race and receive the heavenly prize for which God, through Christ Jesus, is calling us. Whatever you do, work heartily as for the Lord and not for men. Sit. Okay, that's the thing that we wrote down yeah. in our Your job. Thing. Yeah, when we signed the agreement. What? Yeah. Colossians 3.20. Mm -hmm. That you would do it unto the Lord and not unto me or man or yourself, right? Yeah. Just went to mm -hmm. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heavens. God has now revealed to us his myster mysterious plan regarding Christ, up, up regarding Christ, a plan to fulfill his own good pleasure and it and this is the plan at the right time he will bring everything together under the authority of christ everything in heaven and on earth furthermore because we are united with christ we have received an inheritance from god for he chose us in advance and he makes everything work out according to his plan we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are. We know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the calling, the called according to His purpose. Yeah, it throws it off. But you understand the verse, right? Yeah, sort of. Can you read the prayer part? Okay, sure. All right. Give me your hands. Okay. Father, you have a divine purpose for my life. Something you have created only me to do. I anticipate what you, the creator of the universe, have planned for me. Help me to trust you and go wherever you send me to fulfill your will through my life. I resist distraction and the cares of this life that try to hinder your purpose. I leave everything behind and press toward the goal of knowing you until that day when I fully realize your purposes in my life and the reason you created me. Help me to continue doing your will, making a difference 
wherever I can for you. Father, in Jesus' name, Lord God, I ask that you would reveal yourself, reveal your heart, reveal your will, Father, for each of my sons, for my own life, for my friends and families, and for anyone at all who listens this to this video, God, I ask that you would touch our hearts, that you would open the eyes of our hearts so that we would see you and see your majesty, your glory, your love, your power. Father, give us wisdom, Lord. Renew our mind, Lord God, with the mind of Christ. Give us the mind of Christ. Give us your purposes, your passion. Father, give us a new heart. Take out our stony heart, our unbelieving heart, our rebellious heart, our hardened heart, our deceitful heart, God. Take out our old stony hearts and give us your heart. Put a new heart in us and put your spirit in us, Father, so that we would know you, love you, honor you all the days of our lives. Father, help us to be mindful, Lord, that you are our God, our creator, our Lord. You are our healer. You are our maker. You are our father. You are our perfect father. That in you, there is life. In you, in Christ alone, there is hope and there is life, abundant life and eternal life, Father. There is no life outside of Christ. Help us to realize this, God, and help us to pursue knowing Christ more than anything that we pursue in life. Father, we give you all the glory, 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 honor, and praise. For you are worthy, God. You are worthy. Thank you for loving us. Thank you, Lord, for always watching over us, whether we sleep or we're awake and out and about and playing, Father. You are always with us. Your eyes are always on us, and you hold us in the palm of your hands. Thank you, Lord, for you are so good. You are worthy to be praised. Forgive us, God, for loving things and putting things above you. Help us, Lord, to love you more than anything else, God. Holy Spirit, we ask that you would fill our hearts, baptize our hearts afresh and anew, God. Hover over us as we sleep tonight. Minister your truth to our hearts, God. Reveal yourself through dreams and visions, God. Pour your spirit and baptize our sons and our daughters, Lord, with your spirit. And let them prophesy and testify about you, God. Your kingdom come. Your will be done in our lives. Father, please be merciful, Lord, to our friends and families and even our enemies. Those that misunderstand us, slander us, hate us, and say ill things about us. Father, we ask for your mercy. We ask that you would extend the grace, the mercy, the love, and the forgiveness that you have given me personally. Father, we ask that, Lord, upon every single one of our friends and families and even those that do not like us, Father. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for your goodness and for your love that's never ending. Thank you for all the good gifts that you bless us with today, God. The beautiful weather, the food, the shelter, the clothing, the friendship, the relationship, God, the pool, the beach. Oh, you are so good. You are so good. I can go on and on and on, Lord. You are so good. You are so good. We love you, God. We love you. We love you. We bless you. Thank you for giving us your son, your greatest gifts to all of mankind. Thank you, Lord, for giving us your Holy Spirit, God, to all who receive you, Lord, all who repent and receive you, God. You give us your Holy Spirit, the spirit of truth, the spirit of love, the spirit of eternal life and liberty and victory, God. Peace, power, wisdom, counsel, might, understanding, knowledge, and the holy reverential fear of the Lord. Father, baptize us with your seven spirits, God. Give us dreams and visions, Lord, tonight. Help us, Lord. Align every crooked path straight, God. Align our lives 
and make it right with you, God. Help us, Lord, to honor you and please you, God. Remove anything and everything out of our lives, God, that displeases you, Father. Help us to not have any other gods but you, Lord, for you alone are worthy. You alone deserve our worship. You, do, you alone deserve our loyalty, our affections, God, for you died for us, Jesus, so we could live for you. Please reveal yourself to all of my sons, my Jaden, Micah, and Ethan, my nieces and nephew, God, my friends, children. Reveal yourself to them, God, through dreams and visions, through your word, through creation, through nature, through whoever, whatever you want to use, God. Save our households. Save our children. Protect them and shield them, God. And forgive us, God, for any areas that we've fallen short, God, forgive us. Help us to be good parents, God. Help us to teach them about you and your ways. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you. I plead the blood of Jesus over each and every single one of them and my friends and families, God. I plead for mercy, peace, victory, liberty, deliverance, favor, prosperity, wholeness. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you. Ethan, it's your turn. Today is August 18th through this day, and thank you for everything you've done for us. In dreams, um, protect us tonight as we sleep, and help us to worship you and do everything that is on to you and not to men. Um, and um, in Jesus' name, I say, Amen. Amen. Come here. Give me a hug. That is not a hug, guys. <laughs> I love you. Okay, fine. Sweet dreams. A hug. Or that was a kiss, not a hug. Did you brush your teeth? Oh, no. Okay, floss and brush. Okay. Sweet dreams. <laughs>